So our, our final presentation of the day is from Kieran Thapa from the Southern Illinois University. He's going to talk about spatial distribution of multi-floor roads using uh, satellite imagery. Thank you. Hi, good, good afternoon everybody. Uh, I'm Kieran Thapa, actually graduate student in Southern Illinois University, Department of Geography and Environmental Resource. So, thank you for, sorry, Illinois Natural History Survey and the Illinois Extension, such organizing such kind of great symposium, Illinois Invasive Symposium for, and that's great for us to deliver some idea or something. And the, today's my topic is special distribution of multiplural roads, which is scientific name is Rosa Multiplora in Jackson County, Illinois, which is southern Illinois, and using by satellite imagery. So the plants look like this one, thorny, and the flowers is kind of like white, gray, and the seeds look like almost red, pink is red. So the, at the beginning, the multiple rows is thorny, sharp, and kind of like perennial, and higher up to close to 15 feet. And the, it's introduced around like 1800 in Japan, China, as well as Korea, and that introduced in the US from the, you can see the map, from the all the way east coast to our Midwest, as well as western coast of California, on the side you can see the map around 1950s. Some some articles is 1950s, some 1930s, 60s, around like that. And the habitat actually it's like successional field, pastoral, like the prairie woodland area. And the phenology like May to June. And the like series, if series is valuable up to 20 years, that's it. That's why we call it invasive species. So the potential threats are threats and control because this is perennial, high thickest, and the and like the control side, you can do the manual, mechanical as well as chemical and some kind of like biological things. You can do the pesticide before the fluorescence time and the, like the flowers time. And the right side, there is a control, right here is control. They are cutting down and digging. But the really first thing is like right? you see it's survival up to 20 years, that's huge. And you have to do multiple times throughout the year. That's a great investment. So the, my objectives, because this one is perennial invasive species, we all already know, and like to study the distribution of multiple. How what is the distribution like? I only choose the Jackson County, and uh, my objectives like the hypothesis study like using the, in the satellite imagery and satellite data like Tensor or other like in satellite data can capture the total like distribution of multiple roads in Jackson County. So my study area is Jackson County, which is southern yellow color and outline is which is southern meaning southern Illinois and that area is covers approximately 605 square miles. And why is it important? Like throughout the Illinois and the basis all more emphasis on the southern Illinois because of the biodiversity hard spot in southern Illinois. Southern Illinois we have more forest, like different kind of diversity, different kinds of plant. And the end of the way is climate change, like even like today it's good. It's a climate variable day by day in Southern Illinois. We have a more precipitation and the 
like the temperature difference and the phenological changes. So my data set, I use the data set, Landsat 8, aerial photo, Landsat 8, which is acquisition time is June 8, 2016, and the resolution is 30 meter by 30 meter, and path and row, which is covered this area is 23, 34, and each open source, you can download any Landsat image of the heavy area from USGS. And the live area image is also from USGS. And the boundary map, like set file is Tiger Land set file, you can download that so much. And some of the field data, I think I had 93 field data on Jackson County area, which is shown on the later. And my this one is Landsat image, which is RGB band and the satellite image area, area photo. And my methodology, like methodological like framework, so the Landsat image from USGS and high resolution image and high re resolution image, like the aerial image, is as a reference image to the, like at the beginning, like the Landsat image, some have the like the distortion, cloud cover, like noise, and we have to the like that, and the, some like not exact location and we need to do like a certain like treatment at the beginning like same like the medical field to not do the like measure the temperature like the measure general things like that yeah. and after that one the image is perfect to do the like the either land set classification or the land cover classification either more like more 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 like in the research and this the first one is like geometry correction and gym, after geometry correction atmospheric correction which is remove the like noise like cloud cover something like that and after that one i use like the geometrically corrected like atmospherically corrected landscape image and the, like the aerial photo as a reference image then after to Supervised classification. I use the method that is like unsupervised. I use so supervised classification. After that one, <coughs> using the like the reference image and do the accuracy assessment. Like how my how much accurate accurate I did my research. And after that one, and do the final land cover classified map. So for this one, I just presenting this one over here and I this is the landsat image and this is uh, first I calculated the like the total biomass but it's called normalized difference vegetation index and I did the same thing this one I the aerial image is calculated throughout the year like whole like average and this one is particular time is June 8 <coughs> So, so after that one, and I classified, the, do the, did the classified, classified landscape image using the like aerial photo as a reference image. I classified it uh, like only five, like the land cover, water body, agriculture, build up area, the multi, for roads, the main objectives, how much distribution of the multiflora roads in southern Illinois, Jackson County. And this, uh, like the, this city boundary, the Carbondale and the Murphy's Road, I just downloaded from Tiger Shape file. And I call, I overlap the image, and there's like a small, like, SIU campus lake that is like covered by that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, like the, Multiflora rose mostly distributed in southern part, southeast to all the way. This part is mostly, and this one so I'm like it's all ornamental as well as people use as a, like the living fence. That's right. And after that, um, that's uh, I calculated the, like how much area is covered by each land cover. 
like water body cover like 11.8 square mile which is like 1.976 percentage and their soil like the agriculture and their soil which is 26 percent and the build up area is 4.5 and the multiflora rows rows are multiflora which is 7.369 <laughs> and the forest is maturity measure that we are now in South Nino. We have more forest. And I did the like the uh, accuracy <coughs> calculation and my main objectives I do the class fiction for this one and using the Lancet image which is not as much at high resolution than the other like aerial photo or like the other satellite imagery and I found the like the total correctly classified is 80 percent my accuracy result was found 80 percent and uh, the cup I statistics I got the overall of is 0 0.8 750 and water body which is I already mentioned about more campus like it's totally covered I just use the shape file like the city shape file does not blink the whole like the one percent means less than one percent and multiple is which is like cup I stretches value is 7.5 and in conclusion like I have the like the normalized base no, normalized, which is called normalized vegetation, like the NDVI. I got the throughout the line the that here <coughs> is from like minus 0 0.279 to 0 0.65, and to like the aerial photo NDVI is just minus 1 to 1 average. And the majority of the study area is covered by forest, and the um, Multiverse is only covered by seven seven percent, and the overall capacity, which is as two point eight, that's accuracy I already to around eighty percent. Multiple means I only go I want to pass by eighty percent. Twenty percent maybe like I only select like each, then cover only training sample like sample for ten. Maybe you have to increase the more training sample, maybe you will get a more better result, either like some kind of like the NDVI is mixed with other forest, maybe the possible right reason. And the discussion part, like the high potential right capturing by the Lancet image, these are the species image, at the right, maybe it's right, not right peak of time or not in the right energy time. Only I, I select that. Maybe you have to do it like at the beginning of the summer time or at the beginning of the summer to winter. Winter, beginning of the winter, you have to periodically calculate if you calculate that one, that will give the more result, more accurate result. And the like high resolution, like you have to use the other high resolution satellite image that will be maybe give the more result, more accurate result because this landscape is only 30, 30 by 30 meter. Yeah. And yeah, I'm thankful to Department of Geography, Southern Illinois, and my person right Charles Tapa, here a student of Southern Illinois, yeah, sing low. As well as my wife, she is sitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody called me. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, invasive species you have to use. <laughs> no, like that. All have to try this. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Any question? Is Landsat constantly over, you know, like it's constantly getting data, or is it only periodic? Landsat image? Yeah, yeah, but those are images are constantly. Yeah, the constant, I think, yeah, so every 16 days. 16 days. Yeah, 16 days, probably. 
same area like the same oh, time. Right. If the like the, this area is flying like today is like at 10 a.m. and the next 16 days comes in the same time. Yeah, oh, so it's gonna always be 10. Yeah. No, 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 I just, just give the estimated time. If for like that flight flew from today at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. and next 16 days is flying same time in the same order. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is this yes. So is that how you were able to differentiate the multiple rows because the differences in the phenology compared to the other vegetation around the area? Sorry, what do you? Is that how you were able to differentiate the multiple rows from the other vegetation? Um, this is not the only me one method. I use the like this method, and the best method is like if you have a, like a more more like the field data, or you can do more. And uh, like even the Lancet, I only hear the eighty percent is not like the exact. You have to like the, use the other method too. Yeah, this is not only method. Yeah. You can do like that either, like if you have more field data, you use the other method, and yeah. This is not only method, like <coughs> Any question? Uh, any question? Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much.